preparing yourself to present. So you've done your research, writing, and created the perfect presentation. Now what? When the day comes for you to give your big presentation, you want to be as prepared as possible. In this module, you'll learn how to rehearse effectively, tackle the nerves that often come with public speaking, and how to work your voice and body language to really captivate your audience. With these tips, you'll be ready to give the presentation of a lifetime. There's a reason that practice makes perfect is such a common tip. Whether you're preparing to make the game-winning shot or mastering your presentation skills, practicing really does make all the difference when push comes to shove. In presenting, the more you practice, the better you'll know the content, as well as the technology you use, which allows you to settle into the presentation. Thus, you will appear more comfortable and confident to your audience. Rehearsing with just yourself and with a test audience is key for confidence, timing, flow, and more. If you practice your content and your overall presentation, then you can be better at maintaining eye contact with your audience, which will give a more engaging presentation. Here are some suggestions to help you rehearse. Check your timing. Often you will have a time limit you'll need to work within. Some presentation software will show your elapsed time, but you can also use the stopwatch on your phone or computer to keep on top of timing. Adjust your presentation. Go through the entire presentation to identify any issues with the flow or any spots where you need to tighten up or flush out the content. Speaking through the full presentation out loud will help to sort that out. Rehearsing with an audience. Rehearsing with a test audience in the same circumstances in which you'll be presenting is a crucial step. Find people like friends, family, or classmates who will be kind but also provide constructive criticism. Test your tech. Whether you're presenting in person or online, practice with technology as much as you can. See our Preparing and Testing Your Tech video to learn more. Record yourself rehearsing. There are huge benefits to seeing yourself present. Review your recording to check your flow, pace, clarity, body language, and visual aids. Check out the activity in this module for things to look for throughout your presentation. Rehearsing your presentation and knowing your content backwards and forwards is the single most important thing you can do to banish nervousness. That being said, there's no magic cure for pre-presentation nerves, but there are strategies to help combat it. When rehearsing with an audience, ask them to note any nervous habits you might have. For example, do you bounce on the balls of your feet? Consider moving around your space. This will help prevent the bouncing and make you more engaging. If you play with your hair, perhaps you can pull your hair back or style it to keep it out of the way. For online presentations, do you spin in your chair? Swap it out for a non-swivel chair for that presentation. Being aware of your nervous behaviors will help you find ways to work around them. We all respond differently to relaxation and confidence-boosting techniques. Identifying what works best for you will be useful. Two methods we recommend are deep breathing and the superhero pose. See the stress management module on the learning portal to find some guided exercises that will help you find the right relaxation method for you. Your voice and body language convey a lot during a presentation regardless of whether you are presenting in person or online. Learning to work with these elements will help you appear confident and in control, even when you are feeling the exact opposite. Your voice can communicate emotion, help set the tone for your presentation, or could ruin the whole thing. Try your best to project your voice so everyone can hear you clearly. Perfecting your pace is also important. If you speak too fast, your audience may not be able to follow along. If you speak too slow, your audience may get bored and tune out. You'll want to find a good speed in the middle. Speak with emotion to help convey a story to your audience. You may need to add more energy compared to a normal conversation. Try to vary the tone of your voice so that you do not sound flat. If you sound bored or disinterested, your audience will be bored and disinterested too. Presenting both online and in person have their challenges with what to do with your body. You are communicating with your audience with more than just your words. 
your body is also communicating. Your body language can change everything. In person, you'll be more visible to your audience when you are presenting. Use your body language to convey enthusiasm for your topic. Presenting online takes away a lot of our ability to make that audience connection, so we need to work a little, or a lot, harder to communicate on that same level. Check out the activity in this module for tips on body language in in-person versus online presentations. Explore this module on the learning portal to try out some exercises that can help you to evaluate yourself before the big day. As well, you can learn some additional tips about preparing yourself to present. Everyone gets nervous. Just remember that if you prepare, practice, and are comfortable with your content, then the audience will be behind you all the way. Take a deep breath and get ready to give your best presentation yet.